today we're going to be working on lead code question number 373 find k pairs uh, with smallest sums uh, you are given two integer arrays nums1 and nums2 sorted in ascending order and an integer k define a pair uv which consists of one element from the first array and one element from the second array return the k pairs so we're gonna with the smallest sums so if we have been given nums1 is equal to 1, 7 and 11 and nums2, 4, 2, 4 and 6 and we're going to be returning 3 smallest pairs. So out of all these pairs which can be formed using these uh, using these numbers from these two arrays, we're going to be returning 1, 2, 1, 4 and 1, 6. Similarly over here, total number is again because 3 multiply by 3 we can have up to actually it's not 3 by so 1 is gonna make a combination with all these then the second is gonna be making a combination with all these and the third element is gonna be making a combination of all these so we're gonna be having a total of uh, 9 pairs so out of those 9 we're gonna be returning k number of pairs with the smallest values so we're going to be using the priority queue uh, initially if we just have a list of list of integer uh, with the result equal to new array list uh, the sanity check would be if most of them like if any of it is zero if the k is zero if the uh, elements are not available uh, we're going to be returning this same result here which is an empty array list so nums1 is equal to null similarly nums2 is equal to null or uh, nums2 length is equal to length is equal to 0 okay nums1 length is equal to 0 okay uh, or k is equal to 0 in all these cases we're going to be returning uh, just the result okay after that we can have our uh, priority queue queue of end uh, we're gonna have like uh, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be putting in an array with two elements in it, and let's call it Q, and then it's gonna be a new priority Q. Okay, the way it's gonna calculate is uh, basically it's gonna take the nums of 1 right of a 0 and then because we need to calculate the sum of that and the other one is the nums of 2 of a 1 right minus uh, nums of 2 actually I'm so sorry basically nums of this is gonna get added to the nums of 1 of a1 right yes minus nums of 1 of b0 minus nums of 2 of b1 so basically we are just sorting them by the sum okay then we're gonna have our loop because we're gonna be filling in only k elements that's gonna make the, the algorithm k log k so we're not gonna be filling in all the uh, 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 all the combinations we're just gonna be filling in up to k combinations so our int i is gonna go from 0 i is less than uh, there are two conditions here one is that the nums of one dot length it should stay less than that 
and uh, the i is less than k okay and then for that we're gonna be offering it to uh, new int okay the values are gonna be i and then zero okay once we fill in k number of elements in there again the algorithm is gonna be uh, while it is not empty the queue is not empty we're gonna be taking out one processing the new one and putting uh, the right uh, a combination back into the queue okay and current is equal to q dot pole oh but we need to remember that we need to make sure that it is not empty while the key is greater than zero and and the queue is not empty right yeah while it is not empty so we're gonna say that int current is going to be equal to q dot pole okay result dot add so whatever is going to be pulled by it, we're going to be putting it in there uh, array start uh, and the reason for that is remember we are initially we initialized everything with the uh, with the second element as zero so we are we know that the first time uh, the result is gonna be the right result right so the first time we just put it in there so we know that the first one is gonna be the right one so we can actually put it directly into the result uh, array start as less so basically we're gonna take the the first two elements from the two uh, arrays and then uh, uh, and then convert them to a list right before putting it into the result nums one of current zero and nums two of current one okay and the last thing is we're gonna put uh, things back to the uh, uh, to the uh, to the uh, to the queue so for that we want to make sure that the current one is actually less than the nums of two dot length minus one so as uh, long as we are within bounds uh, we're gonna be putting uh, the new combination back in for the new combination it's gonna be new int and then the current of zero and the next one is going to be current of one plus one and in the end we're going to decrement the k2 once we are done we can return the result so not able to find the symbol because we need to have nums still can't find the symbol of nums Okay. Okay, let's just uh, verify our uh, priority Q formula here one more time. That the nums of one, we are actually taking uh, nums of one e zero. And we are adding it because numbers with the numbers of two. No, we are not doing that. 
we need to add it to the nums of 2, right? And then subtract nums of 1, uh, B0 this time, yes. And then subtract uh, nums of 2, B1, that is right. Try it one more time. Yep, looking good. And it works.